Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I want to show you Headliner.app, which is a nice tool for making videos online. It's a free tool, doesn't even put a watermark on your finished video. So I'm signed into my account here, and let's create a blank project. You can see here there's a couple of templates you can use, but we'll use a blank project. And we'll choose a landscape for our layout of the video. And now we're loading the editor. Now one of the things that might confuse students the first time they use this is the prompt to get started by uploading an audio file. While you could start that way, you don't actually have to start that way. You can go over here to the media section and hit the plus symbol. You can do a search for images, a search for videos, or you can upload your own images and your own video files. So I'm going to upload a picture here. And now we'll have the option to resize or crop that image if we need to. You can select the start and end time. I'll make that one play for eight seconds. You can add an effect if you'd like. Let's zoom on that one. And you can have some transitions if you'd like to as well. Now we'll add that to the video. And we'll see that appear in this media line down here at the bottom. Now, if I want to add more media, I'll just repeat that process again go in and upload either an image or my video file. Down here under audio, I can go in and upload any audio that I want to play along that track, or I can use some of the music that's available in this audio library for free. I'll try to choose something short here. So let's just use this one. Now, I don't need that to play for the entire 56 seconds, so I'm just going to have that one end at 7 seconds, because that's all I need. And now we'll add that to my video. And we'll see that appear on the audio line down at the bottom. Now, I do need to point out there's not a built-in narration tool in headliner.app. So if you want your students to add their own voiceovers, we'll have to record it in another tool. I recommend trying Vocaroo. Uh, record it there and then import it into their headliner.app project. Now, the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add some text. And you can have your text appear over the top of the image. You can also have text appear over any video that you've added into your project. And just like most programs, I can change the size of that text. Maybe I'll make that just 30 point text. And change the style. But what you'll notice here is I can't reposition the size of that box. So I do need to make sure that I'm keeping this uh, font to a limited amount. Otherwise, this is going to get cut off. So I'm just going to replace that with cow in front of school. And see, in that case, Montana will get cut off from my font. So I'm going to make sure I re resize that again. And now it fits. So let's add that to the video. And now I have my font across the top of my video. Now let's say that I like this. Let's play it back quickly. So 
So you can see there's some parts I might want to trim. And I can go in and trim this down. Let's make that down to seven seconds instead of eight seconds. And now we can try it again. Now if I'm happy with this, we'll hit the export button. You can see I'm going to have it emailed to me when it's done. Now if you want to export it more quickly, you can choose a lower video quality. You can change the size of the video that you need. You can add a little clip intro and outro if you want to. In this case, I'm going to export it. And so now I'll get an email when this is done. Now I'll also be able to download this directly from my headliner.app dashboard as well. And I'll show you that next. So back here in my headliner.app dashboard, you'll see all my other projects. I have a test project right here that I made a few days ago. Let's click on the video icon in the far right corner. That'll bring up my options to download and share the video. Now this video I made in the square format for Instagram. I can download it. You can see here I can also save it to my Google Drive, save it to Dropbox. I can even just copy that link, and share it. There's my download option. It'll now download as an MP4. And as you can see there, download fairly quickly. So that's headliner.app. Great new tool for making videos online. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com and practicaledtech.com.